Hi, all you content creators and influencers out there. Vail Fucci here, also known as the Headshot Doctor. Today, I'm going to be showing you the software that I use instead of going and using, you know, like So 2010's uh, Facetune to be able to make everybody look their absolute best. And it's going to save you so much time in making your posts look absolutely amazing. So here's where we go in uh, retouching. You can do all your basics that you've been used to uh, from everything else of being able to do exposure, brightness, to be able to tweak that up and down. Uh, but you don't have to just limit it to just the whole full image of going up and down with it there. You can actually even be able to go specifically down to the person, either the entire person, change things. I'm gonna warm her up here, just her. You'll see the background isn't changing. But I can also even go in and pick specific regions of just certain areas that I want to be able to mask off. Same thing of background. If I had parts that were the sky or water, those different th parts, I could mask those things off specifically. Or I can even do a custom mask and just paint it on in a particular area. But those are all kind of standard features. I'm sure you've seen that in other apps before. But here's where this really shines is the portrait retouching. Here, you can go and adjust all these bunches of features. And I usually say start at the absolute top for the most common, work your way down, um, and fix up different things that you may or may not have, things that you love or, or hate about uh, stuff on your pictures. You can fix it easily. And the other thing is that's nice is once you come up with a setup of ones that you really like, that you'll probably want to use over and over again, you can make a preset. So it'll automatically just go and plug them all in right away. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to pick on one of mine, this uh, preset here. And because this is one that's a further away one, not like a, on her face, we're not seeing a huge difference right away. You'll see it a little bit. But say I go over here to one that was over here of that's the original and that's with the preset on. You can see there is uh, quite a bit of difference. You can see of the little bit of the wrinkling around the eyes, of the toning of the face, making sure that we've got, uh, so we're not too shiny, uh, getting rid of some of our stray hairs. All those things can be put into a preset, which is super convenient. So let's go on back here. So you have all the different things of face that you can do and skin. One of the key things I tell people is don't go and take things too far. It's real easy in this to take it everything right up to 100 and then it'll look fake. We still want you looking real. So now we're going to get down to, and I have teeth and facial expression. You can even fix and give a bit more smile. Boom, boom, boom. Pop that up there if you wanted. But what's really key that is if you are doing it and showing off outfits and everything is the body reshape that they have. It has real simple, if you want just right off the bat, this AI reshape of being able to go in and it'll overall kind of just take things and make it how it thinks would be of skinnyfying or making you a little bit more curvy going one way or the other. But you can also go in and tailor this specifically to your needs. So uh, a common one is we might want our waist to be a little bit more snatched there. So you can see as I do that, I can bring this in make our hips, you know, a little bit more. There you go. You can see how it changes that ratio. Depending on the outfit that you're having, you could make of the breast looking bigger or smaller or that because of just the angle of this, it's not really going to make much of a difference in this shot. You can make your thighs and your calves bigger or smaller. Most everybody's choosing smaller these days, but it'll look pretty darn convincing. So we can see of it going up the calf here just a little bit. She's a skinny thing. We don't really need to, but you can still see that difference. I'm going to pop that back to the way she was, though. Okay. All sorts of just tremendously helpful things. Making our neck long. We can go in there. And so it's so easy. You can see just real quickly to fix those things. And then if there was anything that you still wanted to be able to have the kind of pop out there, you have liquify that's right there. You can change the size of your brush that you're pushing things on. And so say like this area here, I want to make that so it didn't divot in. I just kind of move it, squish it over till it looks just right to me. Perfect. Okay, I can do that. I can go in and on my clothing, 
I can make sure that it's taking away the different wrinkles. We can see originally we had some wrinkling here going on with, you know, those stretchy fabrics, how it'll do that. Boom, with just de-wrinkle clothing, it takes care of that. Say we've got some lint on here. I can even de-blemish the clothing here of what I, it says de-blemish, I think of it just as a lint remover. You can see again, here it was with that lint. Go in there and see it. There it is, there's that lint. And I can take that right out and still maintain the texture on this dress. It's amazing what it can do. And then on top of that, another new feature they've added is this clothing edge smoothing. So watch this. See how you had some wrinkling on there? I can just drag this up, bam, all the way. See that before and after of here, we have all the little bumps and wrinkles of the material. And now it's gone. So you can see just how quickly you can make things look absolutely incredible in just a couple little swipes. And I, I love it for that. And say you even have a client that doesn't particularly like tattoos and you have some tattoos, it even has a tattoo removal feature that works unbelievably well. Watch this. Boom, that's gone. That's back and it's gone. So amazing. Okay, and then last but not least of a really fun one just to know how to do also is say you have look that is really popular that's out there and uh, something that you want to get the same kind of feel to the toning of it. Well, you can actually go in and use this color match thing that's under AI color adjustments here. And you can match the color. So say you want it to feel like this uh, Prada campaign. I can just apply that right onto one of my images. Just click right on here and boom, it's going to make it match to that. Say this one here, this warmth, ta-da. This one that's very poppy, boom. Like my favorite one for this image is there. Same deal here, we can see again that one I copied. And all I have to do is just grab to upload a reference, just grab one of the images, pop it in here or there. What's your favorite? I just love how amazingly adaptable it is. And then all I have to do, if I want to go and use the images now, is go out and export. Now you might be thrown off because when you first come in here it might look different like you saw there, but then it will export out with all the changes you've made. You can have, it has different export presets if you want, full size, specifically for web but you can go in and also change the size of your image as needs be of like, say you need it to be able to load to Instagram and it needs to be less than like 10 megabytes. You can do that. You can pop those things to specifically whatever standards you need and size wise. And that's it. That is going to be your new best friend so that you can look as absolutely amazing as possible, but with next to no effort. I hope you enjoy it.